me to have uh, uh, CJ and Bradley back now? Uh, it looks like this coming week, if in fact CJ passes the test, so to speak. But uh, what will it mean to the secondary and the defense as a whole? Uh, I think it'll just bring more wisdom to the to the defense, especially in the secondary, because we know the type of job that we have to accomplish each and every week. And with Roby and, um, and CJ back, I think it's going to boost the defense confidence a little bit more, just having those two veteran guys back in this. I know I feel a lot better with him back to it. What about Roby in, in particular? Is he chomping at the bit? Just uh, what, what's your take on uh, his uh, desire to be out there? Oh, Roby is he's been putting in a lot of work, um, especially in camp and the um, last week, knowing that he wasn't going to play. He did a lot. I think he did a better job of leading the guys, huh. some of the younger guys like Duran and Armani. Um, the whole week last week, I, I remember I watched film with him last week just so me and him could be on the same page and so he could give me some tips about Buffalo. Um, and I mean, I feel like me and Roby work um, well together, especially it, in the boundary. Is he the film watching uh, guru among you guys? I mean, uh, Duran was talking about that too a while ago. I mean, I, the, I mean, just what, what does he kind of bring to the table in that regard? Um, I mean, with me, with me and him watching, I, f I feel like it's just um, me and him just trying to be on the same page going into a game. But with Duran, it may be something different as to Roby can see some things that Duran m may not see just because yeah. of the experience or whatnot. But I mean. Roby, Roby is always a guy who's who's willing to work um, to get better. How could take a team like San Diego State seriously that lost at home in their opener to what you know a lot of people would perceive as a lesser team? Uh, I mean, it's a bad day in San Diego. I would say um, <laughs> on Sunday and today, but I mean, um, I heard that their running back went down or something like that, mm -hmm. and I. I heard that he was supposed to be a good player, but I really haven't watched too much film on him yet. I'm, I gotta still study a little. Chris, on Saturday, it looked like you uh, were making an emphasis on, on being a vocal leader out there, getting it in people's faces. On what, was that something that you're consciously trying to improve on? And what, where do you stand from just being a more of a vocal leader? leader excuse me. <clears throat> um, yeah, like I said, I'm I'm trying to be one of those guys who can lead lead our defense and the team. Um, it's such a big role that I feel like I have I have to step in this season, just being one of those veteran guys, like I said, just showing some of the young guys the way of playing the game, and especially in big time games in the horseshoe, because like um, like I heard Jerry just told me I was the only returning starter on defense at one time. Mm -hmm. um, and I just feel like I just had to motivate some of the guys at certain periods throughout the game. But I mean, overall, I feel like the defense and the team performed well this Saturday. Did you make a conscious effort to do that, or did it kind of happen naturally for you just once you got out there? Because, you know, like you said, you were one of the only or the only returning starter. I mean, was that just like your natural time to, to step up and be that guy? Um, I think it was. Just knowing um, some of the situations that we were in um, throughout the game, um, when Buffalo got the ball, I think, inside of our 40 or whatever after the fumble or whatever I felt like it was my time to just rally the troops just telling them let's go it's time to pick it up because um, I didn't really want Buffalo scoring on us to be honest with you but I mean it is what it is we had a couple couple MAs throughout throughout the process when they did score but I mean it's it's nothing we can't fix. Is your knee okay just precautionary or what what happened? Oh yeah it's, it's not my knee it's just um, a little thigh bruise but it's nothing too serious. What was that like when you were the only returning starter out there? Did you notice it, or was it just? I actually didn't notice at all. Um, I feel like the young guys, especially the deep, the defensive line, they came out to play um, right off the bat. Um, I feel like Coach Braves does a great job of um, coaching those guys and just leading them and just having them go every single snap. And I feel like that's what we need from our defensive line throughout the whole season. What do you feel like you guys got to do better this week as a defense? You said, you know, you won the game, obviously, but you said, you know, some missed assignments or whatever. What what do you look to improve upon defensively as a whole? Here this week? Um, eliminate a couple, a couple missed tackles. I think um, we had 10 or 11 missed tackles, but the, the thing is about this season is those, those missed tackles weren't 
long breaking runs like they were last year. Last year we had a couple missed tackles that went for 81 yards, 70 yards, and I feel like as long as we eliminate those and continue to keep leverage of our defense and play with speed, we'll be good. Christian, does uh, the team, do you get excited when uh, they pull out some kind of two-point conversion on those first two touchdowns? That, hey, we're spicing it up, we're throwing something different, yeah. we're, we're not going to be, uh, you know, we're messing with these other teams. Right. Like what do um, you think of that wrinkle? On our offense or yeah, their just, offense? No, no, when you guys went for two on those first two. I think we were just trying to prove a point um, that we're our offense isn't going to be that that type of offense just to sit back and not be um, not be the powerhouse that they think they will be. I think that the deep shots down the field were something that a lot of people wanted to see early in the game, and I think um, Coach Meyer did a great job of being – um, doing calling those type of plays, um, not being too conservative, um, and I feel like our offense is going to be a high power powerhouse this whole season. They should put up a lot of points. How much does he talk? A, couple, a couple guys got ejected nationally for targeting penalties. Does it hit home more seeing them calling those, and does it make you do you? Uh, how much did you have to think about it when you're out there uh, making hits? Um, I actually didn't even think about it at all, to be honest with you. Um, I feel. Um, Pretty confident about my tackling going into this season. I've been working on it all off season, throughout the spring, throughout the um, summer. So I don't really think it's going to be that big of a deal for me this whole season. You, you didn't said, find yourself asking. You didn't find yourself reminding yourself about the rule during the game. I mean, uh, ever? No. Nah. Really? <laughs> not, interesting. not at all. Coach Meyer had said that they went over the tape of last year, and there were about two or three plays that would have uh, ended up in targeting ejections. Were you involved in either or whichever one of those? No, when, no? when we had that rep come in to just go over all of the hits, all my hits that I was on there were legal. So, I mean, I'm not really too worried about that. Christian, when you guys watched the film, did you feel better or worse about your performance? And what were the things that showed up on film that you didn't feel like watching or playing the game that um, I felt pretty confident or comfortable about my performance on Saturday. Um, I didn't really have any MAs or anything, and I was in the right spots at um, pretty much throughout the whole game. Um, but it's still some things I need to work on, just small things technique-wise that I feel that just me personally, I feel like I need to work on. But other the than that, as a whole. oh, the defense as a whole, I think we went over film and uh, we eliminated big plays. I think Coach Fix said we had one one big play at 23 yards, and that was the pass. But I think Ryan did a great job of um, finishing the play and stopping him, I think, at the three or four yard line. And um, that's when we got the goal line stand. So as long as we continue to play as a whole and play together as a defense this year, we should be we should do good things. Christian, the offense, the offense jumped out to a 23 nothing lead. If that had really like snowballed and you guys had won by a real big number, how much easier would practice have been this week? Um, I don't think it would have been that much easier. <laughs> we go into every, well, Tuesday and Wednesday are pretty much our hard days of practice, just um, getting game reps and fast tempo reps throughout the whole week. But after, well, after Tuesday really is kind of laid back, just working the game and um, doing a lot of scout work and just going over plays from uh, their offense. But other than that, it, Really what, do you, what do you expect? What, Christian, if they threw 63 passes yeah. last week, how many passes will they have to throw against you guys this week? Let's hope 63. <laughs> so we, we can go make some plays on the ball. Um, Buffalo did a good job of throwing short intermediate routes, trying to, um, they've seen our corners playing off. But I feel like our corners have a lot of confidence of jamming receivers and playing close close man so I mean we'll just have to see what our coaches want from the corners this this um, 